We're demoing NVIDIA's Parallel Insight 2.1. We're going to take a look at uh, using the CUDA debugger. So here I've got the, I'm already started debugging the MV Research voxel pipe demo, which is a full ray tracer written in CUDA. You can see I've got, uh, already got one context available on my Tesla C2090, 10 modules in it. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here on line 140, 150, and render, rotate this scene a little bit to get it to hit the breakpoint. So you can see the breakpoint hits here and of course you can use standard features of Visual Studio like you could hover on this variable and see it's uh, evaluated or you could add it to the watch window if you wanted or you can look at the locals. So new in 2.1 here you got the CUDA info page. This is showing the warps and it gives you uh, quick information at a glance so you can see you've got 256 warps so there's over 8,000 threads running here pretty amazing and each one of these rows is one warp each one of these little cells is one lane in one warp and then these are color coded here so this one's showing inactive this one's active this little and then these red the red ones here have actually hit the breakpoint so you can see this uh, breakpoint we've got here is hit on 30 different lanes you can also filter these down if you wanted to quick filter to just the warps at a breakpoint. So here we can see 16 of our warps have actually hit the breakpoint. So let's remove this breakpoint and set another one down here. And this one's going to be a conditional breakpoint. I'm going to put a condition in here. So this is only going to hit on block 23, and it's only going to hit on half the threads. Uh, third index.x greater than equals 16, and it's going to also evaluate v1.x greater than this point 0.9 float float here. Um, this is actually happening on the GPU, so you're evaluating all those threads are all going to be evaluating at the same time and only hitting on some. So let's resume. And here you can see the guy who hit the breakpoint is this block number 23. He's hit on yeah, half half these threads of hit and I would have bet v1.x, there it is, 0.94, so we're, we're golden there. <clears throat> you can also view this another way. You can open the another info page here is open on the right the lanes, you can see two of them are inactive. Kind of gives you another another way to look at the uh, the warp. You also get lots of exception details in there, or uh, lots more information. So let's reset this filter. So now we're back to all the warps. You can see it says 254 of 254. I'm going to set another breakpoint down here. I'm going to remove this one, and we're going to resume. So now you can see this this one is hit. We got this variable try t here. You might want to look at this across the entire warp. So let's open up the CUDA warp watch. That's new in 2.1. And enter try t. Here you can see it evaluated in half. Well, 12 of the lanes actually evaluated uh, because this, this is diverged. So if you use the uh, lanes page here, you can set focus onto this inactive lane. And you'll see where is that guy? He's he's not in the same scope, so it can't resolve that. You can see this entire view now can't resolve. But let's actually switch over to one of the warps. Let's go find all the warps at breakpoint and set to one that hit on every single. I can just see that at a glance. Bam. And we flip over here. Now we can see try T is evaluated in this warp. Uh, we get it evaluated in every lane. All is all is golden. Uh, let's go to disassembly here. So uh, we get we can look at disassembly in three different ways. Here we're looking at it straight SAS. Uh, you get your associated source, of course. Um, you can flip over if you wanted to just look at PTEX and SAS, and then you get the SAS associated with the PTEX and then its parent source. Uh, or you could just do PTEX only if you wanted. Or let's just flip back to SAS, and then we're going to switch over to the register. Uh, tool window here. You'll get to see these registers updating as we step here. Um, of course you can hover on variables in the Visual Studio windows. And let's stop debugging. And that concludes the demo. Insight 2.1 CUDA debugging. Thank you.